you got over a big hurdle in beating South Africa, which you did mention that it was a team to beat in this group. But now, how good is the momentum in your camp right now? The momentum is high and good, and uh, we are happy that we have we got three points. But that game is gone. Now we're looking for a sweat team. Uh, we haven't seen them uh, live playing, but we, we saw the clips through the TV, whatever. It's a long, but it's a hard team, good team as well. In the competition, every team is prepared, is good. So we are ready for a sweat team, but at the same time, we have to be uh, cautious because if we under uh, let uh, it's one thing I think you can be disappointed in the end of the 90 minutes. Is that what you're hoping to see from your team? Just being cautious and playing, uh, being disciplined as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you have said, we have to be cautious and disciplined because uh, I saw uh, actually they're taking long balls, uh, even when taking uh, set plays, they're good. So we have to be cautious. Of those. those are goals. So we're not underwriting them. We're cautious and we want to avoid you know, uh, giving them those opportunities. Let's talk about your two offensive changes today. Yeah, actually, our plan or our type of football, we, want to, to, uh, we are first uh, team playing sort of uh, football. So we're brought in uh, Semenya, he's a sprinter. Uh, so we want to use our, uh, our flanks uh, through her, so that once we take advantage of this, you know, sprinting, we can have a lot of, you know, opportunities to go closes, even take on defenders up front. So we have, that's why we have changed the, 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 the system more together. All the best. Thank you, Coach. Thank you very much. A good start in your opening game. What adjustments have you made going into today's encounter? Um, we have a good rotator because it's a limited squad and we have a good start. We have a good start in our own team. We have a good start to start today. What do you know of your opponents today? Uh, they're scary. They're very tough, hard running up front, very good discipline at the back. Yeah, hard running up front, especially the number 10. Eh, we are kichi mavele kakulu. So, eh, yeah, they're a tough side, but we'll try our level best. In terms of tactics, how are you hoping your team will respond? Mm, we've practiced, but it is a secret, but eh, we'll see. Because they play break three, we'll use the wingers, so to utilize the space as quickly as possible. Yeah, Banga coach, all the best. Banga South Africa's Well, it is a Malawi party here at the Dobsonville Stadium. Three goals up already and uh, one player already en route and uh, itching for that hat-trick. And of course, the hat-trick, the first hat-trick we saw of the tournament already came from the Malawi camp and we might just see another one. Joining me is uh, Pinky Macheka, Banyana Banyana, former player and legend. Pinky, I mean, I have to put you on the spot. <laughs> is Malawi taking Kosafa? Because it really looks like the level that they are playing at, the level of focus, the discipline, they are so hungry to finally win a Kosafa uh, trophy. Definitely Mbali. Uh, I mean, the way we've seen how they play, how they attack, how they play as a team, it's really amazing. And I mean, the, the goals that they scored, the combination passes that they've made between uh, the middle fielder and going forward. So uh, I'm pretty sure they stand a good chance to take the competition. No, it's so great to see the fact that even in their first game, you can already see that the game plan was so clear from the coach, the approach and how they play, the way they remain disciplined, how they also just maintain their shape throughout. Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, we've got Tom and uh, Shiwanga who are very you know, competitive. Mm. They're, very, they're very strong, mm. they're very fast and they, the way they play together is just amazing. So, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, we were talking just the end of the gazebo saying that they're trying to close down Tema Chawinga, but there's still Sabina Tom, there's Asamenye as well, uh, who's also just tearing it up there in the offense. So it's going to be a bit of a difficult uh, time for Eswatini, but this is how now things have started for Malawi. Getting that early goal and Sabina Tom, fine fashion. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, the goal that they scored, it comes from Tom and a uh, combination between uh, Shawinga and Tom. You, you could clearly see that they understand each other. They've been playing for, for, for a long time together. Yeah. So yeah. 
Yeah, well, that was attempt by Temwa Chawinga, but uh, it was Eswatini that was really trying to get into, uh, you know, the game. But they're really struggling to just push the ball up front. But you look at now Malawi, it, they've just put so much pressure on their defense. Oh, yeah. I mean, they tried to play some long balls, which didn't really work for them. So I think moving forward, they should just try to, you know, put touches together, especially in the middle field, just to get and gain that confidence. And this was then, and now they are opening a goal. Uh, it was, uh, of course, uh, Sabina Tom who finally gets onto that uh, score sheet. But they were not done just yet because I think they just were just hungry for blood after that. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, like we said, for it, you know, the combination again between Shawinga and Tom, you know, how they understand each other, you know, coming from the left wing and the right wing and making those combinations and passes, you know. And it just looks like Eswatini's got more questions than answers now as to how do we unlock Malawi at the back, but also how do we protect our goal at the back? Uh, simply because, look, it's going to be too hard for uh, Malawi, uh, for Swatini to actually penetrate as long as they keep playing uh, long balls, mm. you know, because uh, um, uh, Malawi, they're very confident, uh, they're very tight at the back, they've been playing together, so they understand each other. Carolyn Matiola is, of course, the one who got that free header from Eswatini and she made it to three. But now, Pinky, these are now the stats. I mean, it's not surprising that the ball position is in favour of Malawi. Of course. I mean, uh, like we said, Jorge, they've been playing together for so long. They've made some uh, touches together, some ten passes together, so they understand each other. So it's evident that they will have ball possession. All right, well, Pinky, we're going to say goodbye to you and we're going to do a little bit of a substitute now and bring in a Dr. Nguenya, who is the Kev and Kosafa medical doctor. Joining me now, Doc, always great to see you. I mean, let's just talk about these scorching temperatures from Etridgeville to here. We know that there's the two water breaks, but we've seen a lot of players also going down, getting such easy injuries, nosebleeds as yeah. well. Yeah, um, the heat is not actually helping. We have a heat wave in South Africa, in the southern part of Africa actually, we have a heat wave. Mm. And uh, unfortunately, because of the heat wave, then we'll have a lot of muscle injuries mm. because they're losing quite a, uh, a lot of water mm. and then they'll have muscle injuries. And the other problem that is a risk is heat stroke. Mm. That is why now we're trying to avoid it by having these water breaks and we also advise the medical team to prehydrate before the game and even half time just to try and, 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 and manage the issue of this heat. And in terms of not just when they're playing the game but now also in training sessions as well, what are now some of the measures also put in place for training sessions because they also train in stadiums? Yeah, well, uh, the, the, that is actually happening even uh, during training. We, we give them a lot of water breaks but even after the training, now we have also um, we have recommended that they do um, ice bath so that it can help them with the recovery because otherwise, no, they will not be able to, to continue and finish the tournament. What are some of the new trends you've seen this year with the players injuries uh, the difference between the male and the women's game as a chief medical doctor yeah well in this one it is because mostly because of the heat uh, the injuries are almost uh, similar but what is actually good um, Bali is the fact that we've got uh, in this tournament we've got all the teams have got medical doctors which is the first in in the in the Kosafa tournament and because of that then they are able to manage the injuries and they are able to also prevent because that we are able to deal with it in the in the workshop that we did with the with all the medical teams dr Nguenya, it's always an absolute pleasure thank you so much <laughs> well as it stands a three nil to malawi sabina tom with the brace can she get a third going into now the second half and carolyn as well with her name on the score sheet well let's get into the second half very very exciting game indeed So let's go back. And uh, well, there's so many goals here. It may feel like we're watching a full 45 minutes, but let's get through it as quickly as possible. Beautifully set up here with good work from Chawenga. But Tom, getting on to the end of things. 
that's what you'd want uh, from the receiving uh, player. Tom uh, just completing a brilliant move uh, being uh, made by uh, Chawinga running hard on the right hand side. She was not done yet as you look at Tom uh, turning and uh, being a supplier in some areas, but this is the strength uh, of uh, Tim again releasing Tom to get her second goal of the match. Great understanding between these two and uh, they'll be striking fear in the hearts of uh, Benny in uh, the uh, competition still to face them from the corner. Beautifully done, the uh, head of it. Tuniwe Jamini beaten in the air by Caroline jumping highest and uh, one would look at that moment and say poor defending but uh, that was not uh, the end of it as uh, the Scorchers continued uh, to brave uh, through the scorching heat. As that's from range, Katsere coming in off the bench scored and generally had a lovely game in the uh, middle of the park showing some nice touches as well uh, as Amalawi continued going forward and well one name kept popping up that was the beginning of uh, Tim Chewinga's uh, goal scoring uh, a menacing performance in this particular tournament winning it from the middle of the park carrying the ball through and showing some great uh, interplay between the players that was a thunderous ball to, from uh, Chewinga to get her second of the match waited until uh, well into the second half to get in amongst the goals here uh, to once she starts the scoring she just couldn't stop Chawinga with the ball out wide to Chikupila back to Chawinga placing that ball with great ease and calm and finesse uh, she gives the thumbs up uh, for a great quality of the ball coming out from the left but really enjoying to tear the defense uh, from the middle of the park oh just one shot on target for Swatini only 29% of the ball, three goal attempts. It's been a thorough beating by Malawi here. Complete uh, uh, showing by Malawi of your dominance uh, in this particular match. Great offensive play, and we can't complain about the goals that we saw. 16 from 21. Well, it's Malawi that are making a real statement here. Stop them if you can as they dominate Group A. Well, our player of the match is Sabina Tom from Malawi and to hand over her award is Mr. Bezu Mbulelo, uh, Assistant Head for Sports and Recreation for the City of Johannesburg. Please hand over. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Baba. Congratulations, Sabina. What a game today. Talk to us about your performance. That was a minute we were a little. Kukara. One of match, he must go to Nishiro, yeah, teamwork. So, the command of match, she for just in Zanga, then the Togo Zaz in Zanga, she for judge in Tonga. This is for team, not for me. So, she has, she has been the, the, the player of the match because of teamwork. So, she's happy to be the player of the match, but it's all about the team. You speak about the team. Does it help that the team has been together for so long and uh, playing together for a long time? Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, she, she says it's been good throughout because she's been lucky today to get the, the play of the match. Thank you so much, Sabina Tom. Congratulations. She gets herself uh, two goals uh, today and uh, she was hoping for a third, but she was unfortunately substituted. I must say, Coach, a surprising substitute. Uh, I thought you were going to wait for her to score a third goal. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I was, I was very much ex excited. So, <laughs> you know, after he have done his job, went yeah. to someone also to yeah. try so let's just now talk about your team's performance i mean did you think that after those three goals in the first half that look the job is done because you start the second half you just do subs on your your front three yeah i think the game was was, was done in the first half mm. so i wanted to try another players because as we go i think there are also tough and tough games coming ahead of us so i wanted to see at least everybody should have a taste and the uh, uh, play uh, so that we can see their performance or her performance so far.
Do you feel that your team carried the tactics and the game plan very, very well, looking at just how aggressive they were on the onset? Of course, we, we, we did. We did. Yeah, we did that. Thank you so much, Coach. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, it's Coach Lovemore Vasili, and uh, he's very, very happy with his team's performance, and he just feels that the job was certainly done in uh, the first half. Uh, Coach, a tough, tough game mm. for your side. Mm. Talk to me about mm. the team's performance. Uh, my kids tried. As soon as the kids tried, yeah. this is Malawi too much. We knew uh, they were going to be too much for us, and the game was done and dusted in the first half. Do you feel that the nerves as well just... Um, took over because I remember in our pre-match interview you said this team is scary so do you feel that maybe the team also approached that game that yeah, way? Yeah, I told my girls not to watch the game until they watched the game so they saw how strong these Malawians are so they were a little bit scared mm. yeah. well, well coach, all the best for your final game against the South Africa Yeah, thank you Thank you